All right, welcome back, guys. Last time we left off, we had initiated a conversation with Jack. This video will probably be mostly conversations, honestly, um, because you can talk to like every single person in this area. You can talk to like every single person in this area and uh, talk to them. So the. Uh, it's going to take a while to do it. I didn't get to do much sightseeing. It was it was okay. I'm not here for the small talk. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? Uh, I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you. Am I right? You could say that, yeah. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine <laughs> out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> in politics, I ran into nines. LaCroix is sending me over to the Elizabeth Dane. You ever heard of the Elizabeth Dane? I say I ran into nines. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> you said you guys let those Sabat go, too. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? How come he keeps helping me? Well, well, he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. Yeah, and maybe he's got his own agenda like everyone else. You're free to choose who you trust, kiddo. A few questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Tell me about the camera. Oh, my favorite topic. What do you think of Camarilla Don't ideals? I think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if they were. The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. Who runs the whole thing? Doddering old dust farts. They might be powerful as all hell, but who knows? They're too afraid to stick their heads out of their hidey holes. Why should they? This whole huge system is built so they don't have to. Was LaCroix one of the inner circle? Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. LaCroix has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. It sure would. Camarilla does good things too. Maybe that outweighs the bad stuff. Not bad. Evil. Man, think of a country had the same dictator that lived for 500 years. It's also a blood drinking predator. Think there's gonna be some evil shit come out of that equation? <laughs> what about Lacroix? Out of hell with Lacroix. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince. He's a prince. <laughs> You've dealt with princes like him in the past. He's a typical Ventru asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, he just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. He's just stupid and lucky? Well, he did hire that, uh, security guard Chunk. So if he hired Chunk, then he must be pretty stupid. I'm not saying he's stupid. He's just an asshole who needs his teeth kicked in, that's all. What do you think of the sheriff? Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. <laughs> uh, do you have a problem with the whole Camarilla or just the leadership? I'm not saying let's go towards the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. Oh, yeah? How do you know who's the bad guy, then? Camarilla membership is 95% victims, 5% evil bastards. But make sure and understand, any of those victims points a gun at me, they get drained and slaughtered like sheep. Oh, man. What about me? Am I part of the problem or what? Hey, man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young. But there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. Hmm. I just wish the facts were easier to come by. Being dead is no excuse for walking around with your eyes closed. Hmm. Maybe the camera was right. There's nothing wrong with discipline. Ah, 
Beware the protection of wolves. Huh. Moving right along. Let's see if there's anything oh, in my this. favorite topic. I just want to make sure I got I'm not everything. saying let's go towards the Malkavian living for them. Hmm. We already did that one. Let's start it hey, over. Hey, hey, what's the word on the streets? The prince is... Okay. The prince is sending me to check out the Elizabeth Dane. Oh, really? Yeah, why? Well, what's up, Jack? The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No, but I don't really trust him to tell me the truth anyway. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. He was asleep this whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away, and when they wake up, they're hungry. Uh, so he'll wake up and go hunting? It's more than that, kid. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Is this for real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just the word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Mm. Well, that's crazy. I wonder if it's true. Well, kiddo, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> oh. Let's see. Why is the prince sending me, and why did he send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. I don't get it. Why did he want to kill me? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Hmm. So how come I'm still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents were born in the foreground. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Is, La uh, is LaCroix... Hmm. Is LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was the boss. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. You don't follow Camarilla law? <laughs> oh, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. <laughs> mm, I think LaCroix's got little man syndrome. Facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Hmm. Who is everyone? The free-living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. You know the hell that means. Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to throw, huh? <laughs> hmm. I think LaCroix's got that Napoleon thing going on. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy in there. Oh, now, okay. tell him free... It's not working? Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. Hmm, I've got uh, a few more questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. 
Tell me about the uh, Anarchs. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long has the Anarch movement existed? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement, about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit <coughs> mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Guess not. Uh, it's good to know about your I'm history. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. I've seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever going to be easy, but something you gotta decide what we're fighting for. Maybe. Does Nine feel the same? Does Nine's... <coughs> Sorry. Does Nine's feel the same way? You bet, kid. Is he in charge here? As much as anyone is. Nine's is a stand-up guy. He takes the politics a little too seriously, though. He came up during the Great Depression, so he brings wire to that shit. What about the rest of Nine's crew? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. What clan are you? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Got a few more questions. Moving right along. I think I got That's all the us, stuff. So I'm told. What do you want to know? Uh, two? As much as any I heard that one already. So you're not the chief around here? Me? <laughs> I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. Hmm. Man, it's not Bruja. Most ever. Got a few more questions. Moving right along. I just kind of want to make sure I get as many of the dialogue options as possible. Again? Does everything have to be about these dickheads? <laughs> I don't know. Sabat are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. <laughs> Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. <laughs> uh, they're anti camera Yeah, they oppose the camera look, but they suck when it comes to execution. What's wrong with them? The Sabat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Got a few more questions. Moving right along. Is that it? That's all you have to say about the Sabat? Again? Hope not. The Sabat are... The Sabat are in the... I guess that's it. That's all he'll say. Captain Corker. Look how they have the all the darts all around the wall. Now who's this guy? Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? Um. I'll be nice to him. Funny, is not as Nines or uh, Rodriguez around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your actions to the door. Hmm. Yeah, right. You have a few minutes to talk. None of this vampire shit makes any sense to me. You gotta understand, Richard. You're carrying a six thousand year curse on your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel. Mm, I don't know. It feels pretty good to that me. That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Why do you say that? The elders command the blood. They control the blood. The blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. How can you break free? Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you don't feel that shit. Who's Kane? Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. You mean Cain from the Bible? Really? Is that true? Keep your voice down. Is Cain I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. I hear you, but where are you going with this? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? 
What do you got against Cameron? Really the just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. Masquerade. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments? Yeah, like thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that you don't always be. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn command? Hmm. See your point. See, we weren't meant to live like that. I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam. But it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. <laughs> yeah, but don't you follow Nines Rodriguez? No one bows to Nines Rodriguez. He leads by example. Down here with us. But you do agree with the uh, masquerade. I don't need to bear my things to feel good about myself. Mr. Ray is a fruity cattle river lake. Other than that, I ain't got no problem. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Amen. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Oh, yeah? Sounds like we're about to get a new mission. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. A real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Oh, you have to go to her for him first. Her name won't happen to be Patty, is it? Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about then. So what's the she problem? She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until that vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Hmm. Why don't you just tell her that he doesn't want to see her anymore. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again about it. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. Mmm. Sounds like, what kind of heat are you talking about? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't. All right, so about your little problem with Patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbed is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep our little secret to here. Hmm. I'll do it to uphold the masquerade. All right. Have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. <laughs> All right, but I gotta get four yeah. questions before I go. Tell me about the getting ending. him. The day we all die. When our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world. There's a lot of kids who believe these are the final nights. The beginning of the end. Uh, I'll do this. I'll restart this dialogue in a minute. This video is about done. So uh, I will see you guys later. I'll finish up talking to him. It seems now I know why I couldn't do the patty thing before. See, I don't remember any part of this game. But, uh... Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. See you later.